Tonight, there is news in the battle over a subject that has restaurant owners, workers, and customers talking, tipping. At issue, giving workers a higher minimum wage so they are less dependent on tips. Owners say that's a bad idea. Bree Buckley tells us about a move to let voters decide. And Masthead Brewing Company in downtown Cleveland. Mike, check those Brussels sprouts for me. It's hard for head chef Michael Birch to keep a full staff. I just hired five people and all of them off the schedule now. I just hired them two weeks ago. He's one of many in the restaurant industry struggling with staffing issues post pandemic. Order up. The city of Cleveland is joining fair wage advocate groups to offer $5,000 grants if they pay all staff at least $15 an hour. It's part of an initiative the Raise the Wage Ballot Committee is hoping to put on the November 2024 ballot to bring the state minimum wage for tipped employees up from $5.05 an hour to $15. At 15 wouldn't cut it. But bartenders like Christina Boris say that wouldn't work and it would be a huge pay cut. Do you want to start a yeah. With customers less likely to tip if they know employees are being paid a higher wage. I don't think so. I, I feel like we're seeing a lot of resistance to tipping already. She's talking about the option to tip popping up at more and more places like coffee shops and carry out. Birch says it wouldn't really help in his kitchen either. We start out for line cooks down here with experience uh, at 16, 17, depending on the experience. Um, and I'm, I still get the same kind of problem. Over at Saucy Brew Works in Ohio City, CEO Brent Zimmerman says it would hit the service industry hard. I think what you're going to see is business owners would react to this by either cutting benefits, insurance, etc., cutting uh, actual people that work here, um, or raising prices to the consumer. The Ohio Restaurant Association surveyed its members this summer. 81% do not support a $15 an hour wage, and 93% say they're against eliminating the tipped wage, as nearly all report that finding and keeping staff and the increasing cost of goods are the hardest hurdles. We already are, are working on such thin margins. A, a hit like this would be just devastating to the industry, and I think we'll see a ton of closures because of it. A lot of workers I spoke with earlier say they would quit if that became the statewide minimum. Advocates say for the seven states that require a full minimum wage with tips on top, job growth and tipping averages are higher. Okay, Bree Buckley with us here in the studio. Thank you.